Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, taking some first, first thoughts, looks, um, at Luigi's Mansion 3, uh, which is a game that came out today, it's October 31st, it's, it's Halloween, the date of the highest, uh, and this game was released for Halloween because it's a spooky scary game about ghosts and stuff. Uh, I haven't played this game, I have played the first two titles in the series. I really enjoyed the GameCube original. I didn't quite like Luigi's Mansion 2 or Dark Moon, depending on which region you ask, quite as much as I liked the original, but it was alright. Uh, we'll see how this one goes. Uh, I, this is not my first attempt to record this video. Uh, I did get a little bit into the game and then realized that my capture software had crashed, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Uh, I've wiped my save and everything, so it'll be fresh, and I wasn't actually into gameplay yet, I was still in the opening cutscenes, so... Didn't say anything too spoilery, I think. Anyway, uh, let's get going. Okay, so we got a little loading screen, it's got the little ghost doggo. This doggo was in Luigi's Mansion 2, and was adorable. Uh, it seems to be that the ghost doggo is now just a character permanently, which is an interesting decision. I mean, they were, they were pretty cute in that game, so it makes sense. Okay, we got Luigi's Mansion 3, and there's like a tower in the background. It looks kind of a lot like New York City Hall to me, in the way it's designed. It's just the way it's sort of got the different tiers as you go up. I don't know. I think it looks pretty similar. Uh, you have to select a user. I think this is weird because I only have the one user and it, I have it set to not ask me, but it asked me. Uh, you can pick Story or Scream Park. I forget what Scream Park is. I didn't really follow a lot of the trailers and stuff, so I'm not sure what the different modes do. We'll have a look at the story for now. Uh, let's see. Yep, we'll start a new game. There we go. This game saves automatically, please don't turn off your console while saving is displayed, so it works like a video game. Made in the last... decade. <laughs> Loading... Okay, so we get an opening cutscene here. I did already see this in the previous attempt to record, so I know what's gonna happen here, but I'm just gonna let you enjoy it a little bit. Uh, so we've got a bus here with Peach's crown on it, so it's the Peach bus. Uh, they're going to the tower from the title screen. I was disappointed here because all the toads look the same, they just have different colour spots and stuff. I really miss in the early Paper Mario games when the toads had unique, like, designs, different clothes and stuff. It's sad they don't do that anymore because it was really great. Uh, anyway, there's Luigi. Having a snooze. And there's the ghost dog. I don't remember if that dog has a name. I guess I'll just call them the ghost dog. I don't know. There's just squiggles on that piece of paper. What's that even say? <laughs> anyway, this is super adorable. Give tummy rubs to your ghost dogs. They will love it. Adorbs. <laughs> oh, well, we probably shouldn't have broken that. That's not good. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Mario, you can help carry things. You have hands. That little tiny suitcase wouldn't fit much clothing. <laughs> ghost dog, ghost dog. I love the ghost dog. Wowie zowie. <laughs> Cute. Oh, hey, it's the title screen. Loading again. <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Cute. I think that was a reference to Luigi entering the mansion in the first game and being all spooked out. Whereas this time he's super cheerful because this place looks great. <laughs> Cute. Alright, so uh, now the actual gameplay begins, sort of. Uh, we can walk around with the left stick. We can't do much else yet. Uh, it is analog movement. If I tilt the stick a little bit, we sort of sneak around a bit slower. Uh, whereas we go at this speed if I move the stick all the way. Some of these pieces of furniture here, not furniture, these, like, this luggage here has physics for some reason. You can walk into it and stuff will get knocked around. I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but it's, it's fun. So, you know, I guess that's why. Uh, apparently the door is something I can interact with. Okay, I can't, I can't, can't really do anything with it. Uh, we can go talk to Mario over here. Hi Mario. <laughs> I really hope that cake didn't have any chocolate or anything in it. I mean, it's a, I mean, they're a ghost dog, so they're probably okay if they eat something that dogs shouldn't eat because they're already dead. But still, you know, it, it, it's be careful. <laughs> it doesn't really look like a chocolate cake, so we're probably all right. Oh, hi, doggy. Can I pet the doggy? I can walk through the doggy because they're a ghost. Uh, there's fireworks in there. Um, what's this say? Welcome to the last resort, home of the most memorable vac memorable vacations ever had. That's a very suspicious name, I've got to say. Uh, by the way, none of the buttons do anything at the moment. Like, A, B, X, Y, X, you can interact with some stuff, but otherwise it doesn't do anything. Uh, the shoulder buttons do nothing. Clicking the sticks does nothing. The right stick does nothing. The D-pad does nothing. The only thing that does anything is tilting the left stick. Uh, I guess... Oh! Oh, Doggy got me a bouquet! Thank you, Doggy! Adorbs. Hi, the dog! Is there a pet button? I want to pet the dog. I mean, I know they're a ghost, but Luigi did pet them in the opening cutscenes. So obviously, they can touch. Hi, Peach. Hi. Whoa. Hooray! God, this hotel is so suspicious. Look at all the people, like, wearing creepy masks. Hmm. <laughs> uh, anyway, we have to go to the front desk here. Uh, ding! You sound like a ghost. Are you an evil ghost? Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Helen. <laughs> Helen Gravely. <laughs> Quite a name. So quite a lot of hair, check that out. Look how much taller she is compared to Luigi, I mean, jeez. So yeah, there's clearly something really suspicious and creepy going on here, but I don't know what. <laughs> this is about as far as I got before the recording crashed last time. You can see she has a bit of an evil grin there, because only evil people ever smile. <laughs> okay, we're on the fifth floor now. Oh, suspicious. Cute. Night-night. 
Like how Luigi just has a ghost dog now. It's just it's just part of the game that part of canon that, that Luigi has a dog who's a ghost. Ooh, bathroom. Hi ghost dog. <gasps> yes! <gasps> I found the pet pet the dog button. Let's let's do this. Oh my gosh. Look. Look how cute that is! Oh my gosh! Game of the year! I'm kidding, Untitled Goose Game came out this year. <laughs> but still, oh my goodness. Uh, not much else we can do in there by the looks of things. Apparently you had to save whatever just happened. Alright. Uh, there's still another bouquet which has almost no weight to it for some reason. Oh, oh, I destroyed it by walking into it. Oops. There's some fruit over there. Yeah, everything in this room is very, very light for some reason. What's in here? Terrifying. <laughs> oh, look at the little puppy. I mean, it looks like it's the middle of the day. We're not really ready for bed yet. But, I guess I'm supposed to go to bed? What? Oh, look at the little puppy! Look at little puppy! Polterpup, that's your name. I love you, Polterpup. Also, apparently Polterpup is talking to me. That's a thing dogs do. Yeah. Oh yeah, there isn't. There is a full outfit in there. Okay, didn't think I had room for that. Apparently I did though. Uh, there's my flashlight. Oh, Luigi's scared of the dark, precious baby. Oh, look how cute this is. Didn't even take your shoes off. <laughs> what the? What's happening? Hello. Okay. Um. This looks scary. Okay. So I have a flashlight now. Um. I still can't do anything with any of the buttons. In the just Mansion 1, you could turn off the flashlight by holding B. Uh, but I can't seem, don't seem to be able to do that now. Oh, let's see if there's anything in here. Well, that's a lot scarier than it was. Does the mansion just become scarier at night? Is that what we're seeing here? I mean, it's a hotel, it's not really a mansion, but... Yeah, it looks like it becomes scarier at night. So that's scary, at night. Uh, uh, hello. Terrifying. Let's go find Peach. Mm. What am I looking at? Whoa. Okay, that's spooky. Um uh, That's Mario's room. Oh my god, there's a big spider. Ugh. This is really, really spooky. This one's Peach's room, right? Where is she? Princess, where are you? You in this drawer? No. You know, can I read that? No. Just disappeared. Okay. 
Can't get into her be into her bathroom. Ah! There's so many of them. Um, well, where's the princess? She's not in here. I guess I'll keep going down the hallway. This is really, really scary. I I'm, I'm like usually okay with Luigi's Mansion because it's so cartoony, but I'm freaking out a bit here. Uh, I'm not good with horror games. Um, like this isn't really a horror game. It's still quite cartoony, but I'm having a bit of trouble. The elevator's not working, is it? Yeah, it's not. I guess I'll go to Mario's room. I didn't try that one. Oh dear, that's not good. Looks like there's some poisoned cups of tea or something. Ugh, that's not good. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. Okay, the elevator's arriving. I think I had to visit both rooms for that to happen. Oh my god. Oh god, she's so scary. Helen, what are you doing? Push me in. Padan crawl. Much tall. Hucks. Sa to woo. Pamela, set one. You saw show. Is it is it King Boo? Yeah, it's King Boo. <laughs> it's -a me, King Boo. <laughs> so King Boo escaped, yeah. That's not good. Oh, that's not good. Booyah! <laughs> Get it? Because he's a boo? Okay, so... That's... That's not good. Oh no! It can't be game over. I haven't done anything interactive yet. Apart from just walk around a little bit. Okay, I can I can run quite quickly now, which is helpful because I need to actually outrun King Boo here. Ah! Um. Well, that's a great way to break all your bones. Um. Luigi's Mansion 3. <gasps> oh, now it's evil and scary. Oh no, it was a pr it was a nice house and now it's not a nice house. Oh no. Uh, okay, so yeah, that's the basic plot. King Boo was back because Miss Gra Mrs. Miss Gravely, Ms. Gravely, Helen, released him from where he was captured in the previous game. Oh, there's our puppy! Oh, the puppy. 
Aww. 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 Thank you, puppy. Do I still have my flashlight? I hope I do. Yeah, I do. Okay. I was hiding it behind there somehow. Uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna get a vacuum cleaner soon. Because there I have a health now. It says 99 at the top. Uh, none of the buttons on the face, the face buttons do anything. None of the buttons do anything, but I can aim my flashlight now. If I use the right stick. Uh, which is just like the first game. Luigi's Mansion on the GameCube. Had a feature like that. I'm guessing I'm gonna get a vacuum pretty soon. I can see a gem in there. I'd like a gem. Just my little puppy. Puppy won't hurt. <laughs> Cute. Hi, puppy. Uh, I can press plus to pause. I'm not sure if that was working before. Minus still doesn't do anything. I kind of expected to get a map or something on minus, but I might need to unlock it first. I guess I'll just keep following my doggo for the time being. I'm guessing, guessing they know where to go. Okay, so just like in Luigi's Mansion 2, it looks like we're going to find the car and get the vacuum out of it. Because that's what happened in that game. Yep, there it is. <laughs> Cute. Okay, so now we have a vacuum cleaner. I was teaching me how the game works. Okay, so it, it's got the same basic mechanics as the second one, where you have a button that lets you bl blast your light, your light more powerfully. Uh, okay, so yeah. Zeta sucks things up, ZL spits things out. Press them both at once, that happens. I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> I think that's a new mechanic. Comfortable with what you learned? Uh, yeah, I think so. I practiced it in a little bit. Polterpup, come back! I love you. Okay, so I have a vacuum cleaner now, which is great because I can vacuum everything, get all the money. This is the major drawer of the game, that there's money everywhere. <laughs> Isn't really a drawer of the game, I guess. I don't know what I mean. The money looks really great, which is good. <laughs> Not sure what's going on there. Oh, oh, that's right, I need to... These were in the second game, you had to flash at those things to activate them. I got a jam. Rats, rats, where the rats? We suck up into a vacuum, where the rats? I'm a giant rat who's stuck in a vacuum. Let's see what kind of vacuums we can get ourselves into. What's going on here? Hmm. Okay, so it does have motion controls like the second game does. I can tilt the um, Joy-Cons back to have the um, have it aim upwards, so that's useful. I think it's a lot better here because you're only tilting the controller into the whole console, which was a problem with this 3DS game, in my opinion. There we go. Let's 
see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. We can actually suck up that pile of garbage there, because we have a vacuum cleaner. And that's one of the things a vacuum cleaner can do. The vacuum cleaner has unlimited capacity, by the way, in case you were wondering. Well, we're never going to fill it up. At least that's how it works in previous games. It might be different in this one. What's in here? Ooh, money! Love to me some money. Uh, can I get in there? Maybe. Might need a new power-up or something. Okay. Come here, wrench. Too spoopy for me. So I can't go that way just yet. I just want to go back this way. Let's up some of these donuts and things. So as I head back to this room. Now that I have the vacuum, there's more I can do here than before. gem out of this thing. Like that? No? Hmm. Oh, maybe I can increase the pressure by turning this? Oh no, that just increased the pressure of that instead. Okay. Vacuum effect looks really nice in this game, I've gotta say, which is important because that's like the entire game. <laughs> money! Lost me some money. Okay, so this is where we came into the room, back here. You can see there's a gold bar there, which I want because I love money. I don't know why this game is so focused on collecting money, it's not like Luigi is Wario. But, yep, all these games are focused on collecting lots and lots of money. For some reason. Okay, so yeah, I'm not sure how to open these, these washing machines here. Um, maybe if I unplug them? Like the suck over here? Or... Nope. Hmm. You can see a gem in there, so there must be a way to get it. Um. I think using the flashbulb is how you do it either. Hmm. Yeah, I don't seem to respond to that at all, so I'm not sure. I need the new power up or something I haven't got yet. Maybe I can look through here. Hang on. Oh, I remember that. That's a bit sad. I'm gonna peep into the next room through there. Hmm. Maybe if we turn the power off from the other room, we can get the gem out? Maybe? I'm not sure. Oh, hang on. There's money up there. Yay! It's mine now. Fire extinguisher. Okay, there's the elevator. I 
Okay, and this this is a door that we need to activate using the flashbulb thing, which we got at the same time we got the vacuum, so that would stop us from progressing if we hadn't gotten the vacuum. Hi, puppy. And yeah, the puppy's giving us a tutorial about that. There we go. So yeah, those were in the second game, which is why I already know about them. This vending machine is full of donuts, but also money. Which makes sense, I suppose, given how a vending machine works. Where you put money into it, and then donuts come out. Well, I'm not sure why flashing a bright light at a vending machine would make money come out of it. Whoa, look at all those gold bars! <laughs> Okay, I guess we'll go upstairs. Do, do, do. A bunch of junk here in the way. Let's clean that out. A little bit of vacuuming. Okay, well we can't move this garbage can actually, so I can't go that way. Which is interesting. Uh, unless I can blow it away? Let's see. Doesn't look like it. I guess I can't get past that. I go a different way. All right. Uh, huh? Oh, oh, Buppy's gonna help me. Thank you, Poltapop. All oh, right. I meant to use this move. There we go. Thank you, Poltapop. You sneeze because of the dust in the air, so you vacuum it out. That's really clever. I like that. Mm. Wow. Hmm. Wow. Okay. It looks like there's like a trapdoor or something there, but I don't know how to activate it to get to the gem underneath. Oh. Oh my. It'll probably become clear soon. Okay, we're on the first floor now. This is where we were at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, it looks horrible and haunted now, of course. <gasps> we got crossed out. Well, there's some ghosts. <laughs> ah! Too spoopy for me. Oh no, they're everywhere. Okay, we actually have to fight some ghosts now. This is mechanically pretty much the same as in the other games. Especially the second one. Whoa. This tutorial is a lot better than the one in the other games, in my opinion. Not quite as interrupting. But then again, I already played them, so maybe this tutorial's not helpful enough if this is your first game. I don't know. I saw some money over here, I wanna miss it. Ow. 
Yeah, it's, it's pretty much the same as Luigi's Mansion 2's controls, I would say. Woohoo! Ghost defeated. Yay! Okay, we probably can't leave. Yeah, because they were boarding up the door. Let's see what we can do. We can go forward this way. Where are you going, puppy? Well, I can't jump because I'm wearing a heavy vacuum, and also there's no jump button in this game. Hmm. I do want to know what's in that safe back there. Can I activate it from this side, maybe? I think the answer is no. Aha! Time to rob the hotel! <laughs> Everything is mine now. So the sneezing in the opening sequence was actually a game mechanic it was thinking about, which is really interesting. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, to hide money in a secret room behind the counter in your hotel. How do I... Oh, I just press X to grab it? Yeah, okay. Heck yeah. Sure what I'm doing wrong here. <laughs> I really need to come from above to get it down, but I'm not quite sure how to do that. <laughs> Can I stand up here and vacuum it that way? Sorta, but it doesn't quite work. Okay, so I actually do need that key to proceed. Those trap doors. I'm guessing I'll get like a power up that lets me ground pound those doors or something to open them. Uh, these games usually do have a bunch of power ups. I don't know if this one will, but it probably will. Well, the elevator works. That's something. Can I use it to go places? Okay, so I can walk back to the basement. Okay, I see. Okay, so ra rather than, like, separate levels, like in the original game, it looks like there's just a bunch of, like, n not separate... What am I trying to say? Instead of having separate missions, like in uh, Luigi's Mansion 2, you've got one really big mansion that you can access all the different bits of with a warp system, which sounds pretty cool. And I guess it makes sense. I guess I need to activate the elevator on each floor so that it'll let me go to all the different floors. Like, if I come back here and activate this one, it should get unlocked. Then if I go back in here again and have another look... No, I didn't unlock B2. I'm not quite sure how that works. I'm a little confused. 
Not B2, 2. The second level, the one I was just looking at a moment ago. Okay, we've got a gem over there as well, but I don't think I can get it yet. I think I need to be able to burn that plant it's stuck inside, like a fire ability. The first game had a fire ability, so I'd be surprised if this one doesn't. Ah, I got pranked. Time to take all the cushions. <laughs> Why did they cross out Luigi up there anyway? I didn't actually get him. Like, he jumped down the hole instead of getting gotten by the, the ghost. This doesn't... it's not accurate. I kind of thought sucking away these curtains would do something, but it doesn't seem to have done. Oh, money! Money! Okay, I think I think I got the best like most of it. Okay, uh, so this key here, evidently I need to get that. But how? Can I just reach up and grab it? Okay, I can. Okay, that's much easier than I thought. Uh, I thought I had to like get it to fall down or something, but no, 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 it wasn't. It wasn't necessary. I was overcomplicating things. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Oh, the phone's ringing. Hello? Well, that's creepy. Money, 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 money. Give me all the money. Ching, ka ching. Okay. So, yeah, sucking these curtains does make some money fall down and just kind of slow for some reason. I guess because it's made of paper. Pranked again. I keep getting pranked. <laughs> What's in here? Money. I don't know why this place is so full of money, but it is. Hey, it's a gem up there. I don't get it. Maybe if I shoot a pumpkin at it or something, it might fall down that way. Try pumpkin. Nope, that didn't do the trick. Um, if I shoot a light at it? Nope. Might need something else. Anyway, I think that's about it for this room, so I guess we'll continue on to the next bit of the mansion. Or a hotel, this isn't really a mansion. Like a hotel is a different thing to a mansion. Oh! Well, that explains where the keys go when I use them. <laughs> the lock eats them. <gasps> it's Professor Egad! Maybe we'll rescue him. But first, money. Got 
Because in that particular painting was so easy to access, we'd have a lot of trouble if we didn't have a gab with us. Okay, let's go talk to Presser Gad now. <laughs> Let me see. I feel like I'm gonna learn how to rescue him from the painting pretty soon. Those leaves make a weird sound, like, as though a piece of pottery is hitting another piece of pottery. Are they fake leaves? My right door's locked. It's gotta go this way. Is this door locked? Nope. Uh, it's creepy though. No more clothes for any of you. Yeah. Oh hey, there's something hidden behind all this. This wasn't just me being silly. There was a reason for this. Let's unlock the safe. <gasps> Gem. I did it. Oh -ho. Delicious. Is that big bag of G like a money bag or? Yes it is, look at all the money. Okay, so this is a popular sort of puzzle in these games, that because the camera angle is fixed, you can't see what's on the wall behind you. Or like the wall that we're looking at Luigi through, I guess, the fourth wall. Um, but if you look closely at this mirror, you can see... ...what's hidden, uh, against the wall, which is there's another one of those little light thingies. So we're gonna do that. Reveals the key. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Ha. Uh, there's also a treasure chest hidden over here, but it's completely invisible. And I don't seem to be able to access it yet. I might need another power up or something. Uh, there's also a chest thingy over here in this corner, but you can see Luigi can just sort of stand in it, so I assume I need another power up to get that as well. Possibly, um, there was like a black light flashlight effect you could enable in the second game. It might be the same. It might be that one. Oh my goodness. Okay, so you actually have to mash the button. Uh, repeatedly when you're sucking people up like that, which is different to the previous games. There we go. That was pretty easy. Okay, so there's a bunch of wanted posters with me on them, so let's get rid of some of these. Yeah, that's what I thought, there's money behind them. Do 
Okay, so the key that I got should go in here, yes? Yes, it does. Okay, so this room's a bit spooky. Uh, let me see what we have here. Got a piggy bank. a bunch of junk up here that I'm just gonna ruin. <laughs> okay, I can see a chest over there. I can see the puppy wants me to open that safe, so I'll get to that in a bit. Should be able to suck this off, but it's not working. It's not letting me grab that with my vacuum, which is weird. Should be working. Ching, ching, ching. Trying to break this this mop. We'll get out of the way at least. Okay, can I go through there? Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, this looks spooky. The spiders. No, can't can't say I'm a fan of that. Is there a passage here or something? I'm confused. Alright, well, let's open this safe. Okay, what do we got inside? Some little booklets and stuff? Okay, so this is probably the black light bulb, bulb thingy. Yeah, so this lets you see invisible things, and also if you pointed out a painting of something, you can get the thing out of the painting. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we can get Professor Regout out using this. As well as getting a bunch of money. I assume that spider became visible because we shone the different special light on him. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, when, when something's invisible and you try to reveal it with this, it sometimes spits out those little spirit orbs and you have to suck up all the orbs to make it actually appear. It's annoying. I don't remember them doing damage though. That, I think that might be new. And I can't say I like it. Well, there's a chest over there. Suck up this particular sheet. Doesn't make sense. Anyway, we have the black light globe now, which is important because with that we can reveal things that are hidden, and also we can free Professor Gad, which we'll do shortly. So yeah, we head back into this room. Yeah. We're gonna suck up all of these, and then we can get this chest. Cool. Uh, same thing over here. And get this chest. She also has a bunch of money in it. There used to be a time limit on how often you could use, how much you could use this globe, but it looks like it doesn't do that in this game. Which is an improvement, I think. The time limit is kind of pointless.
Okay, so now if we go back to Professor Gad and we shine our flashlight bulb on him like this, he should come back to normal. Yay! Yabo Yabo. Cute. No, 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 Rude. Look at his running animation. <laughs> Probably face some more ghosts on the way back. Yep, let's go to the elevator. Money is important. Okay, um, so yeah, we hit the elevator button. Boop! Oh, the buttons have actually been removed, so we have to get them back. I see. Presumably we get to find them as we travel around. A ghost gonna attack us in the elevator? Yep, that makes sense. I surmised as much. The garage was this way, right? Oh, I thought it was that way. Okay, um... Did I get this one already? I can't remember. That's oh, full of dust. Lots of dust, apparently. There we go. Let's go. Rude. Oh, hang on, gold bars. I need those. Okay, so here we can get this gem now, because we have the right equipment. There we go. Yay! <laughs> okay, here we are. Oh no! Okay, this is a bit of a mini boss battle, I'm guessing. You're gonna be throwing these things at me and I have to dodge him.
Okay, nearly there, nearly there. Where are you at? Where did he go? <laughs> Do I need to drop this for him to come back? I guess so. Aha, it worked. Oh, oh, what's happening? Oh. What are those? Ice creams? Oh, they're elevator buttons. One in five. I see how this works. So, can we put them into different slots and go to floors other than one in five? Or am I thinking too much about this? <laughs> Oh, okay. Oh, what's hidden in here? Is it a new upgrade? Okay, it does some green light and stuff. Oh, okay. So it's a mobile laboratory? Neat. That's a cool trick. Yep, it looks just like the one in the second game. Only it's portable. Wow. This is my lab, and this is my laboratory. <laughs> yeah. Oh, same. Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> oh no, a ruse. Kind of weird to have a collection of living beings. I mean, the ghosts are not necessarily living, but having a collection of sapient creatures is a little weird. Uh. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Cool. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Gad, please. <laughs> oh no. Oh, a new invention? What is it? The virtual boo. Really now? Oh my god. Virtual reality device fitted with a fancy red screen. Oh my god. Wow. <laughs> oh 
Oh, Nintendo. Oh, I thought it would be a Switch, like, because that's their current, you know, portable handheld console thing, but no, it's a Virtual Boy. Press plus to look into the VB. Current objective, one more thing to give you. Elevator tracker inside the elevator. Alright. So what it is... I'll tell you later, go on and get it installed. Well, I think it probably tracks the elevator. That's my guess. Okay. So this is a menu of sorts. Uh, let's see, we got explore hotel, we got map. Can we like warp around with this, or maybe? We can't look at any of the others because we haven't put the buttons in yet. Uh, we can go to the title screen, we can go to the multiplayer modes, EGAD, guide, settings, gallery. So yeah, this is the game's main menu. You only get to it like an hour into the game, which is kind of hilarious. Uh, let's go back to the hotel. Um, it's been an hour, but I think I'll go a little bit longer, just because the game's only just kind of starting now. Uh, so yeah, I actually do have a map now. Whoa. It's all red because it's it's a virtual boy and that's that's the joke. So that's an improvement on not having a map. I like to have a map. Um that already, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, we want to go back to the elevator and install the tracker thingy that Igad's given us. So it's this way. Not a big fan of all the spiders in this game, I gotta say. To be fair, the second game had spiders like this everywhere too, but the first game didn't really do that much with them, so... Not a big fan of them being such a major part of this one. <laughs> okay, so here's the elevator. Let's head on in. Um, where do I put the tracker? Over here somewhere? Hooray! I don't know how I knew how to install it, but... Map data about the floors from the elevator. And text all that data on displays on the monitor. Isn't that great? Elevator buttons you like to insert them into the panel. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh okay, so that's why we can't put them into different slots, because they put themselves in. Right. They did consider that. Able to view the map of a new floor. There's another surprise, Luigi. That device links for the virtual boo. Okay, cool. EGAD hotline. <laughs> oh my god, it's so laggy. <laughs> Quite deliberately, of course. That's hilarious. Okay, so that's a hint system. <sighs> yep, we can go to 5F. Okay, that probably has a useful invention or something in it. Okay. Um, alright. Is 5F the floor that we were also staying on before? I think it was. Pick guide settings. What are the settings I can change? Controls? Okay, so I can change R stick to not work in some directions. I can change gyroscope sensitivity. I can't turn the gyro off by the looks of things, which is a little weird. <sighs> Brightness settings. So these options aren't filled in yet. I'm guessing they'll unlock as we progress. 
Uh, anyway, let's go up to the fifth floor. R.I.P. Sweets. Get it? Get it? <laughs> Here we are on the fifth floor. Yeah, this one's pretty scary. This is this is, this is definitely the one we were on before, uh, where we got accosted by King Boo and had to run away. <laughs> Virtual Boo. Suction shot. Why to fire the rubber plunger? You can skip onto flat and smooth surfaces and use the poltergust. Okay, cool. Okay, so we can break some stuff. That's that's always fun. <laughs> yeah, that is fun. Cool. Just my one weakness. <laughs> okay, so I should be able to shoot the suction thingy over here to break this. Nope, can't go that way. But I can probably go this way, right? Yeah. <laughs> Which means I can go check out these couch cushions. Pretty sure I can get to Egad's room as well, which is the reason I'm going this way. But yeah. Mostly the couch cushions. Oh, this looks safe. I'm not sure as much I can do out here. Maybe I can squeeze my way around here? Yeah, looks like I can. Cool. I don't know what that achieves, though. Oh my god. <laughs> my jump move, like, doesn't let me move while I'm jumping, so I can't get past that gap yet. Maybe I'll come back to this. Okay. Okay, um, let's go this way. Hang on, there's something hidden here. <laughs> More spiders, really? No thanks.
Okay, so this is the elevator maintenance shaft, I believe. we can actually do in here to shout by the looks of things. I can make in this hole, so that's cool. Okay, there's a gem out there, so I'm gonna need to get that later. Um, got to keep that in mind. <gasps> Terrifying, a thing moved. Can you imagine anything scarier? This is one of the Toad's rooms, I think. The blue, blue Toad, I think. Took their amplifier. Shush, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I guess that's why you might want to turn the hints off, because they seem a bit annoying. Oh, you can actually hit the ghosts with the other ghosts. Oh, that's cool. I like that mechanic. Yay! Okay, it's been an hour, 20 minutes. I probably should try to sum up my thoughts so far. Um, this game looks enormous. Um, I don't know how long it actually is, but so far it's looking pretty dang big. And I'm really impressed with what I'm seeing. Uh, Gameplay-wise, this looks really, really good. It's taken a lot of mechanics from the from the second game. Like the, stro this is called the Strobulb from the second game, and the uh, black light also from the second game. Um, but it's taking cues from the first game as well, in terms of how the levels are arranged, I think. Uh, which is good, because the first game had better arrangement. Um, but it's also got its own things going on as well, and it's got Virtual Boy jokes, which I appreciate, because that thing was hilarious. Um, and yeah, I'm really looking li liking the look of this. Uh, I haven't tried the multiplayer, obviously, so I don't know how to, what to say about that yet. Okay, that's what that does. Pressing up just gives you a big version of the map, which is, I don't know, that's kind of weird. Um, and I don't know when I unlock these extra things that aren't unlocked yet, but I guess we'll see. Um, but I, I kind of think Miner should do something, like maybe take you directly to... This map screen, for example, it doesn't do that. Um, it doesn't do anything. That seems like a weird choice. Since most of the other buttons do something. I think this feature is new, I don't remember that playing, being in any other game. The being able to shoot out little plunges. Pretty weird, but it's, it's cool. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm really liking the look of this so far. Um, I think I'd recommend playing it. 
Uh, I don't know, you know, how long this actually is. And I don't know if the multiplayer is any good because I haven't tried it. But from what I've seen, this looks really, really good. Uh, the mechanics for ghost catching, they're, again, they're a bit different to the other two games, but I think overall it's been, I think it's an overall improvement uh, in terms of how that controls. So I'm happy with that. Uh, I guess I should keep going. Um, anyway, uh, that's probably about it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope this gave you a decent impression of what this game is like. I think Luigi sped up because I was running in the same direction for a while. That's neat. That's actually really cool. Yeah, look, so I'm walking at a certain speed. Huh. Yeah, you actually start running if you keep going in the same direction. That's a really useful feature. Slow back down, turn around. Yeah, okay, that, that's really good because like navigating through big areas in the previous games because of your normal slow movement speed was kind of a hassle, but, but this basically fixes that. So that's really cool. Anyway, uh, I want to see what this is. Oh, it's money. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, yeah, that's about it for this video, I, I guess. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I, I hope this gave you a decent impression of what the game's like. I hope I didn't spoil too much. I, I mean, I didn't know a whole lot about the game, and I've only shown about an hour of gameplay, so I probably haven't spoiled very much. But if I have, I'm sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching.